And the fourth example, we're going to find the area of this figure. Okay, so we need to break this up into several parts. Um, you can do this different ways. So you can cut it here, cut it here if you want. You can cut it here and then cut it here if you like. It doesn't matter. Okay. So let's see, what do I want to do? Let's just do it this way. So I'm going to cut it here so then we have this rectangle. And then cut it here so we have this rectangle. Now be careful, since I cut this up, I can't use this for the base, right? I have to use this as the base. So here, this area of this is going to be 7 times 10, the base times the height. Make sure it's, per it's um, perpendicular. If, it's a, if you have a parallelogram, make sure you have the height. Okay, so this will be 70. Then this, do I know what the base is here? Well, if the whole thing is 10, or this whole thing is 10, and this was 7, then this has to be 3, right? And uh, let's see. I don't know what this is. Well, if this is 3, this is 3. From here all the way to here is 10, because that, that's what this number tells me. This is 3, this is 3, that's 6. That means this has to be 4, because this plus this plus all the way down here has to be 10. So this is 4. That means for this rectangle here, I'm going to make 3 the base and 7 the height. Okay, don't, don't, make sure you don't multiply this. This thing right here is going to be 3 plus 4. So this is going to be 3 times 7, which is 21. So let me just circle it so you know you don't get confused with my numbers. And then for this rectangle here, we have 11. And then we know that this is also 4 because we found it there. So it's going to be from here to here. Make sure you don't use this number because this number is showing you from here all the way to here. So it's going to be 11 times 4, which is 44. So now all we have to do is add up these numbers. So 70 plus 44 plus 21. Okay, we have three rectangles, so we're adding up three numbers. So 4 plus 1 is 5. 7 plus 4 is 11, plus 2 is 13. That means the area of this figure here is going to be 135 units squared. Okay. And that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching Educator.com.